جريح ويا ذبيح ويا شهيد On the 10th day of the first month of the Islamic calendar in the year 61, on the hot desert plains of Karbala, a small city just south of the current Iraqi capital of Baghdad, a small group of 73 noble individuals were massacred by an army of 70,000. The victims were respected followers of the religion of Islam. The perpetrators, led by Yazid, son of Muawiyah claimed to follow that very same religion. The leader of the small group of men, women and children was the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, Hussein, son of Ali. Only 50 years had passed since the death of the last messenger of God and yet already the Islamic nation, the Ummah, was in turmoil. The events that led to the tragedies in Karbala, however, did not begin with the reign of Yazid as the Caliph, the leader of the Ummah. They began to unfold in the last moments of Muhammad's life. Um came to the companions and told them that my allegiance is off of you. There's no bayah. You've done your job. These people want to kill me. They have nothing to do with you guys. You can use the night. They're not going to find you. You can leave right now. Go settle somewhere where they can't get a hold of you. They come out of their tents like roaring lions with chivalry, with courage, with such a, a, a great amount of, of conviction and strong and solid faith in their hearts that can only be possessed by a person who has witnessed his position in paradise. They all were fully aware that the Imam was doing something that was ordered for him to do by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Hussein alayhi salam said, I have never seen and I don't know the companions of anyone who are better than you, my companions. You could just imagine. <laughs> سيدي ننساك يا ابن المرتضى وبضمائر نجم رفقدك غضى لا وحق عظام كلمة رضرضى بالحوافر ما علم صابك نهي يا شهيد يا شهيد زلزل العالم صابك يا وحيد يا جريح يا ذبيح يا شهيد يا شهيد سيدي ننساك هي هات ومحال مستلذ بالعيش وبورد الزلال لا وحد جسمك الثاوي